Hi guys, welcome to another Get Ready With Me video. So we are getting ready for a Disney premiere of Cinderella the movie and I cannot wait, I'm so excited. I have my dress in the background there hanging up and it's very long and very elegant. So I'm going to do my makeup today to match the dress. I'm gonna start with my Studio 10 palette and uh, it is well worn at this stage and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it with my Giorgio Armani Illuminous Silk Foundation which um, I love. Today we are getting two squirts of 7.5 and two squirts of 6.5 and the 0.5s are cooler on the skin and the ones that end in a zero of, of the Illuminous Silk Armani um, is warmer. We're going to mix it up with my Studio 10 foundation brush here along with a little bit of the Studio 10 foundation just literally dot to dot at the minute and then it will hopefully all get blended together nicely okay here we go I'm doing circular movements so that it's blended in because I think that when I stroke them, I can see the brush strokes a little bit and it's not a very nice effect at the end. So I'm just kind of buffing it into my skin and, and it seems to take a little bit better and last a lot longer as well. And don't forget to bring it down into the neck as well because you don't want your neck to be a different colour. I'm going to start now with my eyes and I'm going to finish off my base um, afterwards so that any flakes of eyeshadow that does flake down will get buffed away with the rest of the, um, the contouring and the, um, the under eye bags. So let's start with my eyeshadow. Now we're not gonna go too, too heavy, but I want a little bit of definition. So I have here the Naked palette. The book has been well used. Book is one of my favorite colors. So we're going to just go with book today. Um, and we're just gonna take it, remember to tap off the, the powder. We're gonna take it all the way from here. So if you can see this line here that goes from your no the bridge of your nose up to your eyebrow, I'm going right into that socket there and I'm just bringing it all the way round, following the shape of the eyebrow and I'm just bringing it slightly down. And so we've got quite a definite line there, but I'm not bringing it down into my eyelid, onto my eyelid. I'm just doing the socket. Right, blending. We're going to use this angled brush here. This is another MAC brush and it's just a little bit angled. And I'm actually not gonna put any color on this. I just use it to blend. So I'm just flicking the edges up towards my eyebrow. We don't want it to disappear. We just want it to have no visible edge. Making sure each side is pretty even. This needs a tiny little bit more on that side. I do that <laughs> a lot. Now I'm going to take a... This brush is Urban Decay. And just a little bit of highlighter. This is quite strong, this one. So I'm only going to dot it along the eyebrow line here like that and I'm going to take the blending brush that we just had and blend that into what we just blended up. This is Rimmel and it's I think it's quite new. It's gel eyeliner. This one is number two in brown and it is waterproof, smudge proof, um, never going to come off your eye proof eyeliner. So I'm going to come into the eye here as far in as I possibly can without stabbing myself. So we want to get it as close to the eyelash rim lid as possible without going onto the lid itself. So you can already see a difference there between the eye and the eye. It looks like I've got hair now, like you know, eyelashes going all the way around my eyes rather than where it actually stops because of that one line and then a little flick at the end following the eyeshadow line that we did earlier I'm just dabbing it in rather than dragging it along because we want 
the gel eyeliner to sit and, and not kind of get weaker by dragging it. So let's just clean it up a little bit with the foundation brush before we go any further. Now, mascara. I am using uh, Iiko, Iiko, I can't pronounce it. It is great. It gets straight in to the bottom of the eyelashes, right at the root, and creates a very cool false lash effect. Now let's finish off the face. So I'm going to take my Touche Leclerc by YSL and we're going to go underneath the eyes. Yeah. And I'm just going to take this foundation brush, an angled foundation brush. This is MAC. And we're just going to pat it in to my eye bags. I'm going to use this as well here to just to accentuate the line slightly. I'm just going to put this alongside the line like that and just tap it in and then a tiny little bit in the corners. Again, patting it in. And now, I'm going to contour my nose. So with a steady hand, I'm gonna draw a line all the way down the middle. in with my finger and then I'm just going to do the bow of my lips and just a little bit down the middle and then a tiny little cross section of the chin and then I've just found this and it is the best powder ever it is by Makeup Forever and it's HD high definition powder and it's just amazing so I'm just going to tap it in and we are just going to buff the whole face with this. Now, I have my Studio 10 contouring kit. And we're gonna take the slanted brush end. And with the darker powder, I'm just gonna go from the top of my ear and bring it in here. So just below the cheekbone, right there, into the hairline, right in there. And I'm going to do my forehead to make my forehead look a bit smaller because it's quite big sometimes. Now with this brush, I'm just going to do it along the lines of my nose, but not heavy, heavy. So just a little tap and tap off the excess. And I'm just going to go down the side of the nose, the bridge of the nose, and uh, into the socket. This is Studio 10 again. Um, I promise I'm not sponsored by Studio 10. I just really like their products at the minute. So this is like a, a, a blush glistening highlighter cream. So it's, uh, it's really, really, really nice. And I'm going to take this MAC brush, which is a mini foundation brush. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. Um, we're going to put it in the apples of the cheeks and above the line that we just created. Next on the list is eyebrows and I'm going to use that book, the same colour that we used earlier on my eye sockets for my eyebrows. I have my eyebrows tattooed recently and um, so the video is on this channel so don't get to have a look. Um, so I don't really need to do much, I'm only doing a little bit because I've put quite a bit of foundation on them and the foundation is hiding the tattoo at the minute. So all I'm doing is following the line of the tattoo. So this is MAC Spice. I'm only going to use a little bit because I find it's a little bit dark and I'm only following my natural lip line. I'm not trying to create anything further. My new favourite lip colour, this is MAC and it is a uh, lipstick glaze and it, the colour is called Hue. Apt. My husband is called Hue. But it's spelled H-U-E, not H-U-G-H. Um, and God, I've only had it a week and it's already almost finished um, because I've just been using it all the time. I love it. So we're just going to 
again follow my lip line and just dab it in finish it off with my Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. It's got a hint of brown about it, which I really like because it, it detracts from the pink, but it doesn't make it brown brown, if that makes sense. So we're just gonna put a little bit on there. Just on the lower lip. And just pressing it into the top. And there you go. That is my contoured, soft, elegant-ish, with a flick, makeup for my Cinderella premiere this evening. So all I have to do now is get into my dress and brush my hair, um, spray some perfume, put my shoes on, and I'll be ready to go to the ball. So see you in a sec. Well, that was my Get Ready With Me video for the Disney premiere of Cinderella. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and join me for the next Get Ready With Me video very, very soon. See you later.